and a passage I have made from Donegal to New York town to work here at my trade. But as I stepped out on Broadway, the sergeant says to me, Won't you come and join the 69th for to keep the Union free? Handed me a pair of boots and a uniform of blue. That fella there is Corporal McGee, and he'll show you what to do. So I took their first five dollars and dispatched it to me, ma'am. And I thought that I was fortunate for to be an Irish man. They sent me to the train and to a several weeks or more. My uniform was chaffing me, my feet were awful sore. But I learned to fire my Springfield while pointing it away. For to try to kill some other boy that was wearing rebel grey. They put me in the artillery and there they taught me well to load and aim and fire the gun to blow them all to hell for our duty was to slaughter them with shot and cannonball but I'm sure that I saw faces there that I knew from Donegal. They sent us to Virginia for to stop the rebel race. Then northward into Maryland where we fought them face to face. There was Irish lads from New Orleans a trying to kill us all. And I wished that I was home again with me folks in Donegal. Well, here I am at Gettysburg, and the end is near, I know. Johnny Reb is charging up the hill, and there's nowhere left to go. I shout, put on your bayonets, lads, don't let them take the gun. And tell me, mother and father dear, that I'll always be their son. <coughs> My name it was James Rorty, and I died upon that day. If we won the battle or the war, I really could not say, for I own they did me duty for to keep the union free and when I fly home to Donegal there'll be a place for me